Hi there! Today we have a very special car. It's a proper sports car and it's called the Lotus Evora GT. So, the wheels, they're beautiful. It has this matte black color. The wheels in front, they're 19 inch and 235 milli in width. The brakes are from the company AP Racing and they are 370 millimeters in the front. And the wheels in the back, they're 20 inch in diameter and 285 millimeters in width. And of course the brakes, they're 350 millimeters. So there's something really interesting with the car, which is there's a huge quantity of fiberglass all over the car. We can start with the front bumper over here and you have a lot of functional air vents in the car here, 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 here. The aerodynamic of the car is so good that the downforce that pushes the car to the ground is around 64 kgs, which is a huge number and proves the engineering of Lotus. And also the full panel of the roof is fiberglass. Of course, we have more air vents for the engine to breathe. One on the side here and one on the top right here behind the roof panel. And to continue with the fiberglass used in the car, this piece right here is fiberglass. This middle piece in the back wing is also fiberglass. The amount of real vents on this car is awesome, amazing. Like here, before the wing, we have another vent to blow the air and move it around the car smoothly. And finally, here in the back, we have this huge air vent as well, made of carbon fiber with a huge real diffuser that all work to increase the aerodynamics of this fabulous car. And speaking of carbon fiber, this whole piece under the number plate is also carbon fiber in the Evora GT. The boot is electronic with the press of a button here. You just pull this thing and you can put here maximum, maximum 50 kgs. And there's something else that's also really beautiful that you can see the engine. What a scenery. The engine over here is a 3.5 liter V6 supercharged and it's from Toyota. It produces around 416 horsepower and 430 newton meter of torque. The transmission is a six speed auto. The interior is just so beautiful. It gives you this really sporty vibe. And at the same time, it can give you comfort. The seats, they're from Sparco. At the back, it's carbon fiber. And here there's a double tone of leather, El Alcantara. And one of the nicest things is that they put the GT logo over here and the Lotus logo over here. It's really cool. So the steering wheel is all Alcantara. I really like that they put the red line here to just give you this sporty look. And the bottom is flat. I really love just how it feels when you catch it. There's something that always Lotus makes sure to show you this, that they're proud that the car has been built in England. So the first thing you would see is the stainless steel plate, which is written on it, hand built in England by David Hills. Thank you, David. And the dashboard is the same tone as the seats. You have the Alcantara over here and here it's leather. And even you will realize that the stitching was not made by a machine or something. It's like purely made, handmade by someone because you have some imperfections over here. There's something else that surprised me a little bit, which is the screen. It's a little bit old. These screens, we just we used to find them in like 2008, 2009 model year cars. But nevertheless, it's not bad. It just does all the basics of multimedia, which is Bluetooth, if you want to hear your music. You have a button here to heat the seats for the passenger and the driver's seat. You have a sport, race, and the lock alarm and the exhaust button. So the Evora GT comes in two models, the automatic and the manual. Over here, we have the automatic, so we have buttons over here. It's not a gear knob. You have the N, D, P, and R. Here, you can control the AC vents. Over here, you can control the temperature and finally the directions of the air. So the last thing about the interior, the door, you have the Alcantara over here. It's just, it just feels so good and it's embedded with the leather over here and just the door handle. The door handle over here has the same color as the car's paint from the exterior. Oh man, this car is so cool. And the side steps over here, this piece is all carbon fiber and here it's like proudly written. Lotus. 
Some cars are built to take you from A to B and some other cars like the Evora are built to make A to B a sensation for all of your five senses. <laughs> oh, 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 this thing. <laughs> it's amazing. It's amazing. And it's not about the numbers. The Evora is not about the numbers. It's not about the horsepower, how much torque you get, what's zero to 100. It's about the feeling you get when you're driving this car. It's about the feeling of control that you get, this control you get from this beautiful hydraulic steering wheel. Every feedback the car gives you, the feeling that every little twitch you do on the steering wheel, that actually does something. And this is something that's missing in a lot of cars these days with this whole drive-through wire, electric power steering, shenanigans. This is pure driving. One of the things that also surprised me about the Evora that here we don't have a dual clutch transmission. We're actually using a six-speed automatic regular torque converter, also from Toyota. But Lotus engineers have made it in a way that this thing goes through speeds using the pedal shifters as quickly as you need it to be in such a car. It's amazing. This makes me wonder though, why did Toyota partner up with BMW when they decided to bring back the Toyota Supra? Why didn't you partner up with Lotus and give us a Supra that actually has mechanical parts from Toyota. I just wonder. So the price of the car sits at 399,000 dirhams. But the car that we have today is a little bit special because it's not only one color, it's not only blue, it's two colors, which is the blue and the black, which is the fiberglass. So the price of this model is 410,000 Emirati dirhams. Does the car deserve this price? Let me know your opinions down in the comments and see you on the next one.